Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. As you may or may not know, we are traveling to Alaska in May for the World Beard and Moustache Championships. And we are taking with us the first ever Australian team to compete at the World Beard and Moustache Championships. Well, we're a bearded four-piece. Uh, we all have beards, and all our songs are about the virtues of having a beard. By our own self-imposed rules, it has to have the word beard in the title, and uh, yeah, it's it's comedy folk rock. Beard love, and you don't have to feel ashamed. A beard love, there's no need to hide. Your beard love away. We were another band. The same four members of the Beards were before that. We were a band called Dairy Brothers. And one day we sort of all got to rehearsal and looked at each other and we all had beards and we went, this is pretty good. And uh, we joked about how we should start a band called The Beards that's all about beards and how funny that would be. So we made up The Beards uh, just on a whim to do one gig. And it sort of snowballed from there. If your dad doesn't have a beard, you've got to mum to be less Well, right now there's one week until we leave uh, to go to the World Beard and Moustache Championships. So we're all pretty uh, busy at the moment. Uh, has everyone organised their visa waiver programme? Yeah. Like I said, she'd email Tom with a change. But you, she might not have changed your flight. I never got one of these. Which is a flight <laughs> here on the 18th, that's where we all board your mum. Check everything what? Was <laughs> Two years after we'd been gigging as the Beards and it had been gaining popularity, uh, we found out about the competition. And this year it's being held in Anchorage, Alaska. So we organised to, to hit the road and fly over to Alaska. This is a World Beard and Moustache Championships and we're the only band in the world that exclusively performs songs about beards. I think the only band they'd rather have than us is probably ZZ Top. It starts with you, it starts with me, it starts tonight. Beards across Australia unite. There's actually never been an Australian team at the World Beard and Moustache Championships, so the organisers we're really keen for us to bring an Australian team with us as well as play the gig. And we thought that was going to be hard work and it proved to be hard work. Um, we didn't find that many people. Through the beards I decided when I found out that they were entering that I'd uh, have a crack myself. Look, I, I think it's important for uh, our people to represent our country and uh, get our beards out there. My name's Graham, I've entered in the full natural category. My name's Ed, I've entered in the Alaskan whaler category. My name's Tom, I've entered in the sideburns category. My name's Joel and I've entered in the goatee category. My name's Michael and I've entered in the Alaskan whaler. I'm Josh and I'm in the birdie. Woo! The Beards Club yeah, 
up the importance. I was standing up. Right now, believe it or not, it is 9.30 in the evening. And it is still broad daylight. And will be, as far as I can tell, until at least midnight where it will go to a twilight sort of a situation. And no darker. There were bearded guys waiting for us at the airport. We've been in transit for 40 hours and then someone stuck a camera in my face and all these strangers shook my hand. They knew who we were. I like to one day live in a world where bearded people greet each other at the airport, even if there's not a World Beard and Moustache Championships, you know? Where bearded men just look out for each other. <laughs> We're representing our country! Well done. <laughs> Australian. We're going to go on the radio, Mikey and I, to uh, promote Friday's show. 7.18 in the morning, it is a beautiful Wednesday. The World Beard and Mustache Championships, Anchorage, Alaska, May 23rd, 2009. Yeah. Josh and Michael are with us. Um, how long did you guys plan this trip? We, we've been planning for about two years. See, so now, are you guys pretty big in, in Australia? I mean, do you have like your beard followers? We're probably and... the biggest band in Australia <laughs> right now. Yeah, yeah. It, goes, it goes the beards, ACDC, yeah. and it works. The World Beard and Mustache Championships gets underway Saturday. It all goes down. To 250 competitors from all across the world. The beards will be playing. Well, the gig is tomorrow night, so we just thought we'd ride around the Alaskan uh, surrounds. What happened here? Came off. Doesn't really feel like a day off. It's like a day on holiday. It's good to just sort of um, feel the wind in your beard. Something about the air blowing through it. It's um, almost spiritual, I think. Tomorrow's the big event, so I'm trying to relax. I'm like going for a ride, except for the bowl. It's been good. <laughs> I'm standing here with with another one of the competitors in this category. We are in competition with yeah, each other. I'm, yeah, I'm hoping that my my red's gonna yeah kind of bring it together. Yeah, I only have a vague tinge of ginger. It's probably yeah. not gonna really cut it. Uh, the first event I went to was two years ago at Brighton, and I came first in my category. Excellent. And how did that feel? Uh, quite amazing, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the category I'm entering, I feel I feel pretty good about the outcome. Yep. It's more I think more more than anything though, it's more about just uh, hanging out and with fellow Beardmen. There's a pretty big meeting about what Cybern's constituted for the, the competition. And uh, it's an unbroken line from your hairline to the sides of your cheeks and separated in the middle, mustache optional, so. Yeah, and how do you think you'll fare? I'm hoping pretty good. Sleeping sometimes, I find I get, I'll get it caught and I'll turn and it pulls and it's not always a good time. It only seems fitting yeah, at a facial hair competition that you would also make sure that your <laughs> automobile is properly dressed. Yeah. Our van needed a mustache. We've got the uh, categories here. You've got our mustaches and our partial beards and full beards. This is just a really nice way to explain how insane this competition is. Here we are. We're on a boat on a river, and uh, we're going to see a glacier, which moves very freaking slowly. So uh, I imagine it'll be really, really boring. I was born with a beard, and I live with a beard, and I'll die. We're cutting through ice. And it's, it's, it's concerning, deeply concerning. Here we go. Look at that. Because this beard that I wear, well, it's always been there. My first breath. It's a good percentage of bearded people together. Everyone on the boat has a beard or some form of facial hair. Because God told me to get two of every kind of beard and build a boat <laughs> because he was going to kill all the beardless people. <laughs>